Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's an installation of the Samson 970 EVO Plus into a desktop PC using a M.2 SSD PCI Express adapter card. Here's the SSD that I'm going to be using. It's the Samson 970 EVO Plus MVME M.2 SSD and it's brand new so I'll put that to the side here for a moment here's the PCI Express adapter card and there's not too much to it um, there's just that little interface right there and then we get one screw to attach it to the adapter card alright let's go ahead and open up this new um, Samson 970 M.2 SSD and it's a two terabytes by the way it's a good size um, storage for um, this desktop that I'm going to be putting it in. And let's open this up and get a close-up look. And again, this is a uh, 970 EVO Plus, and it's a V-NAN SSD. Okay, here's the single screw that came with the adapter card and the adapter card and uh, we'll go ahead and put the SSD aside and let me open up this thing I don't know what it is about those screws I can't never get them out of the packages so let me get this out first the adapter card and we can take a better look at it here and we can pull out the M.2 SSD here and you can see it's a lot smaller than the adapter card and it fits right into that little slot there and it happens to be an M key slot which is a standard SSD um, interface by the way and it's a really lightweight and small adapter card so it fits really well and it's um, easy to insert once you figure it out that is to insert the M.2 SSD into the interface there and then this will push down and be screwed to the adapter card via this screw here in this package I am never good at opening up these little packages I don't know what it is my fingers are not small enough so I'm gonna just tackle it and break it open here there we go and uh, pop that right on out now this comes again like I mentioned one single screw and then there's a little nut here it has a um, a skinny little neck in the center uh, let me get a close-up look if you can see that uh, let, me, let me do a little bit better here all right there you go and um, the trick of um, putting this screw on to the adapter card there is a trick to it most people uh, because it did not come with instructions might not know how to do this and the way to go about it is you don't whoops you don't put it underneath and you don't put it on top you put it right in the between the adapter card and the m.2 ssd also the top and bottom hole on the screw nut are different sizes and the larger side is the one that goes on the bottom now the way this works is you utilize the neck on this screw nut so that you put it right the neck goes right on the uh, M.2 SSD and then the SSD and the screw nut gets pressed against the adapter card and then on the bottom where the larger um, screw hole is on the screw nut is seen and then you go ahead and you can put the screw into the screw nut and tighten it up and I'm doing that right now and it only takes a, a couple of turns before it becomes tight enough to uh, do the job or to do the trick okay you can see that there is perfectly even amount of space between the SSD and the adapter card and you can see how the neck of the screw nut is being used there all right this is all set and ready to be inserted into the PCI Express slot on my desktop computer so let's go over to it the mini tower that I'm going to be using here is the Acer TC865 
NE Select i5 and it houses a Intel i5-8400 CPU. And there's no need for you to watch me open this up. Everyone has seen how to open up a desktop computer before. All right, I have it open and here's a close up of the PCI Express slot. And this is the built-in M.2 slot that's already on the motherboard that I'm already using for a uh, SN750 M.2 SSD. And I only have one M.2 slot on the motherboard, so that's why I'm using this PCI Express slot here with the adapter card so I can put a second M.2 SSD into this desktop computer. Now let me go ahead and grab the PCI Express adapter card here, which already has the SSD attached to it. And one thing I like to point out is this little fin tail on one end that helps you to determine which direction the PCI Express card goes into the PCI Express slot. And then once you have it in position, this little latch goes up and locks it into place securely. Okay, now that it is in place and we are all set and ready to go here, I'm going to go ahead and press the power button on the desktop computer and power this up. And once I do, the CPU fan and the power supply fan are both blowing and we have a green light blinking on the PCI Express adapter card here. And that's a good sign. That means uh, the motherboard is recognizing the adapter card and hopefully the SSD as well. So let's go ahead over to the Windows desktop and we'll go into the device manager by going down to the start menu here and right clicking, going up and clicking on device manager. And it opens up that window for us and within device manager we can go ahead and click on disk drives and sure enough Samson SSD 970 is shown with the uh, two terabytes of storage which is great and we can go to properties here and look at a few things but nothing's going to really show up until we set this up in um, the disk manager first so let's go ahead and close this out and I want to show you how, well, I'll leave it open and go down to the start menu, right click and go ahead and click on disk management. And this is where we can um, go ahead and get Windows to recognize that the um, disk one is um, active, which is the SSD. And as you can see, if I open up File Explorer, um, there is no other drive except for the local drive presently showing up. So let me close that out and go back over to disk management. And I want to go ahead and click on the disk one um, so that it's highlighted and selected. And then I'll click on next and then I'll go ahead and click on next again because I want to utilize the complete storage or use all of the gigabytes on this drive and assign it a letter by default it's going to be D and that works for me because my local drive is C I'll go ahead and click on next and then yes I'll take the defaults here um, and uh, have it as a NTFS volume and I'll click on finish and that will open up File Explorer and I can see that I now have a second drive. It's called New Volume D, drive letter D. And if I want, I can change the name of that volume. I have free space of uh, 1.81 terabytes. Full capacity is two terabytes, but some of that is being used for trim on the SSD. Okay, um, we are all set and ready to go with uh, two SSDs installed in this computer uh, desktop now. One last thing I'd like to show you before we leave is that if your um, desktop computer has um, mesh openings on the side like this one does, you can see the green adapter light whenever the adapter card is being accessed it'll be blinking 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like. And remember to click on that notification bell.